I'm sure if you're an anime enjoyer, you've heard of the two small indie animes, Dragon Ball and One Piece. Okay, Dragon Ball, famed for carrying many of our childhoods with big burly men beating the shit out of each other. And One Piece famed for being one billion episodes long. Uh, but they both have massive fan bases, okay? One Piece has a cult-like following, just about. And Dragon Ball has the entire continent of Latin America. Okay, they were bound to clash, these two communities. And they have been clashing for the last couple of months now. Uh, spoilers ahead for the most recent episode of One Piece and Dragon Ball. That was fucking six years ago now, Jesus. Uh, Luffy, the main character of One Piece, just attained his brand new transformation power-up shit called Gear 5, okay, where he becomes a cartoon character. I mean, super sick shit for the fans of the series, but they could not sit quietly and watch that episode. No, no. Those bastards immediately took to Twitter and started yapping away, okay, claiming that the One Piece episode unveiling Luffy's new transformation would, quote, break the internet, okay? Now, you may be wondering, what the hell does breaking the internet even mean? What does that imply? Well, I'm going to take you back a little bit. Many moons ago, at some point in 2017, when I had no hair on my chest, Dragon Ball Super was airing. All right, life was sweet. Fortnite just came out. Anyway, Dragon Ball Super was heating up a little bit, and our hero Goku was getting absolutely molested on the field uh, by Jiren. And in typical Dragon Ball fashion, he whipped out his brand new transformation to beat the bad guy. And this was Ultra Instinct. Now, when this episode was first released, the internet was quite literally broken. I mean, every single anime streaming website, Crunchyroll, Funimation, all those illegal websites that I can't name because I'm a good Christian, could not handle the traffic that was coming to their websites from this episode. I mean, it got so bad that Pornhub went down, okay? Because that was the only place you could find the episode. I mean, absolute catastrophe for Dragon Ball fans trying to watch the episode. That gave them some of the largest heads in the fucking world, though. Anytime any anime is compared to Dragon Ball, the fans immediately bring up the time they crashed Pornhub. And I mean, rightfully so, that's fucking... That's a crazy feat. Uh, many anime have gotten close to this, but, but none have quite gotten there. Attack on Titan. Uh, Attack on Titan crashed Crunchyroll with their Season 4 premiere. And Demon Slayer also crashed Crunchyroll at some point for, I don't fucking remember, but... But, it, like, when One Piece was heating up, they started to get a little cocky, get a little a little antsy in the pantsy, okay? Because when Gear 5 was, was released, it allegedly broke Crunchyroll for about, about 20 minutes or so. And then it was right back. I mean, not as impressive as any of the other examples I brought up, but that brings to the question, why, why did it fail? Well, there's actually several reasonable explanations for this. Uh, for starters, after Crunchyroll drove Dragon Ball fans to Pornhub, <laughs> uh, they decided a server upgrade could be smart uh, to prevent children fans from going to Pornhub to watch Goku uh, turn bigger. And that seemed to work rather well. Smart move from them. Uh, there was also significantly less hype for Gear 5 than there was for Ultra Instinct. And that's for one reason. And one reason alone, okay? The manga that One Piece is based off, called One Piece, released the chapter that Gear 5 was unveiled in about half a year ago now. Okay, all of the super, like, One Piece fans were fucking on that shit instantly. Like, they knew about Gear 5 for the last six months now. Anybody that wasn't, like, a fucking massive fan... Was, was spoiled about Gear 5 at some point in these last six months. There's no way to dodge it. It was all over TikTok, all over Twitter, all over your mom's house. It, it was everywhere. Anybody that somehow managed to avoid those spoilers for those six months was spoiled a week in advance by One Piece themselves when they released a Gear 5 trailer. Every singular One Piece fan knew about Gear 5 in advance. I mean, if you compare this to Dragon Ball's feet... Ultra Instinct, the anime was, was literally ahead of the manga. The manga was behind, and there was no trailer. I mean, the only thing we knew were the leaks a couple days before that described Goku getting up after being hit with a fucking nuclear blast, and then he got up with a new form. And I mean, every Dragon Ball fan had no idea it was coming. And we had to know. So they all showed up at the exact release time, uh, which sent Dragon Ball fans a link to Pornhub uh, to watch the episode. Now, I mean, to be honest with you, I doubt this phenomenon will ever be recreated, and with with Gear 5's failure to do so now, uh, I think we're all in the clear to unfavorite our Pornhub tab, as I don't think we'll need to go there to watch any anime anytime soon. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Peace.